Hey everybody, welcome back to another Technique Breakdown. We just saw Cade Rotolo defeat PJ Barch via buggy choke at the Combat Jiu Jitsu Worlds, and Cade actually won the lightweight championship. We don't see many buggy chokes, so let's take a look at how he set it up and the mechanics of how it works. This was a fun one, let's have a go. Right out of the gate, these guys are in a position I've always heard called the dogfight. They're both coming up side by side. PJ has a deep underhook and Cade has a strong whizzer. PJ controls Cade's ankle and while pulling back at the shoulder, he's rotating as hard as he can to complete the takedown. And now Cade is in bottom side control. So Cade immediately swims his arm to the other side of PJ's head and at the same time he brings up his leg that's closest to PJ's head, his right leg. He makes some adjustments to get a deeper bite and he secures the leg in this position with a strong grip. He then triangles his left leg over his right. Just to recap where we are so far, Cade has his right arm on the inside of PJ's head. That same right arm is underneath his own right leg. His left hand is connected to his right hand in what looks like a gable grip, but don't hold me to that, it's not zoomed in enough. And he's got his left leg triangled over his right leg. This angle is going to give us a good look at the mechanics of the finish. In a lot of ways, the buggy choke actually finishes like a triangle. PJ's own shoulder is cutting off the blood supply on this side of his neck. On the other side, instead of Cade using his own leg to cut off the blood supply like in a conventional triangle, he's using his side slash lat slash armpit. If PJ could swim this arm back, he'd relieve that pressure on this side of his neck, but Cade has a very strong grip here and this leg isn't going anywhere. It's going to continue to block PJ moving this arm and relieving any pressure. The grip and the leg combo is also pulling into PJ's neck, making the squeeze even tighter. Look at this grip again. Look how hard Cade is pulling this in. This is also driving Cade's side further into PJ's neck. This is a really powerful squeeze. PJ is trying to move and relieve the pressure, but Cade continues to tighten the squeeze and PJ is forced to tap. Let's watch it again. Off a scramble, PJ thinks he's good on top as he lands in side control. Cade switches arm placement and brings up his leg and then secures his grip. The squeeze gets tighter and tighter and PJ has no choice but to tap. Like I said earlier, the buggy choke is pretty rare. It takes a good amount of flexibility and it can be difficult to establish the grips quickly before your opponent defends. But when it's done right, it sure is pretty. Thanks so much for supporting the show and for watching and I'll see you next time. Thanks everybody.